The Vice President, Yemi Oshimbaju, has stressed the need for peaceful coexistence among Nigerians, regardless of our differences. Oshimbaju stated this while delivering a goodwill message at the 120th Founders' Day anniversary lecture of the African Child held in Lagos. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Lovi Kuku Oyedoku, tells us more. It is the 120th Founders' Day anniversary of the African Church. The theme is the role of the church in the face of insecurity in the nation. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo wants Nigerians to key into peaceful coexistence. We need to embrace peaceful coexistence, built, of course, on the principles of equity and fairness towards the building of great nation. We cannot achieve peace without justice. We cannot coexist without equity. This is something that His Excellency told me specifically to put in there as a good message. The guest lecturer, Right Reverend Matthew Kuka, described Nigeria as a crime scene. He believes it has nothing to do with where you live, but by the grace of God. Kuka strongly opposed self-defense and advised Christians to turn to God in times like this. This uh, vigilante thing that we are taking like joke, like joke. This gun that you are holding, if you say that we are living with Fulani, my son take a, a gun, my wife take a gun, my daughter take a scissor, my little girl take a, a razor blade, this one take this. Now we are fully armed, any Fulani man away from me, I will go deal with that. It may be that you are away to work, your wife is away to work, Gino is fighting over orange with his brother. Gino has knife, his brother has razor blade. So the problem with having ourselves is that we will never be able to disarm. And I think we should not be afraid of the message of Christ. There can never be any meaningful development either in the church or in the society without peace. Therefore, it is our responsibility to always uh, seek the face of the Lord on behalf of the church and also on behalf of the society. We also, the Bible says we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So it is by that peace that we also will also have peace. The debate on how Christians or people of other faith should react in face of life-threatening dangers is unending. No matter the side of the divide you may belong, peace should be our watchword. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku, reporting for Plus TV. Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.